Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of One Piece, which is on episode 995. Finally, the moment that many fans have been waiting for, and the next e next episode is going to finally begin the biggest event that many manga fans have been waiting for. I can't wait to see you in action. Toei, again, you've been nailing a lot of episodes very greatly lately, and I'm very proud of it, and I'm very happy for it. Despite the filler here and there, I don't care. It's going great, and it flows well, you know, and if anything else, let's just, just, let's just get this started, okay? Um, we have to it that, um, that, you know, the big event... The big recap plays out, and then, you know, we have to it that Kaido gives the announcement to Orochi's forces and Wano, and Wano Samurai, who are serving, who served Orochi, saying, I'm giving you two options. You can either work with us and conquer the world, or two, face us and, and accept death. I understand how loyalty is very important, so I ask you, will you join us? Or go against us. And we have to it that. That the forces. of Oro That served under Orochi says. We will serve you. The 5,000 samurai. And the 5,000 ninjas. Whatever the case may be. Will serve under you. Etc. As Kaido smi smiles in delight. Everyone finally becomes very happy. And they end up enjoying the fact. Of what's going on here and there. You know. While Hyogoro is very upset about this. One of the subordinates tells Hyogoro to calm down. Because. Right now, where they're at right now, they have no chance right now. They can't blow the cover yet. And we have to at Kaido ask Momonosuke, You know, that day 20 years ago, I asked you a question, kid. What is your name? Who are you? And Momonosuke still remembers that traumatizing past whatsoever, what Kaido did to him, grabbing him by the neck and is asking him who he was, you know, that kind of thing. But... We have to it. Momonosuke is very afraid right now and scared. I mean, he's just a kid, and even though he is meant to be a shogun, he is all this pressure onto him in a traumatizing event from many years ago, and then right now where he's at, right now about to be killed and executed. It's really bringing down on his soul and body right now, and his mind. And we had to it that eventually we see a scene with Luffy and Yama Yamato running in the hallway, and Yamato happy to hear that the Red Samurai are still okay, and that Luffy says, here, let me get those cuffs off of you, you know? Then there's a scene with Peros Peril and Marco fighting each other, you know? And Peros Peril is ends up talking to Marco, saying that we're not going to team up with that monster, you know? I'm here to break that alliance once and for all, as it, as it is stupid here and there. And we have to eventually Peril's Peril ends up talking to Marco, maybe possibly making a deal whatsoever, you know? And that aside, we have to it that um, Kaido makes the announcement and makes a big loud question to Momonosuke and asks him, What is your name? Huh? What is your name, kid? And we have to it, everyone's like, This guy, I, hey, all you gotta do is lie, man. That's all you have to do. And everyone was just laughing here and there, saying that, oh, this is going to be hilarious and fun. While the other samurai and the others are trying to, like, um, think in their minds, no matter what happens, Momonosuke, if you have to lie to live for, for, for you to lead this country, please do so. We don't mind, you know, that kind of thing. And we have to, eventually, as time continues on, Momonosuke decides to stand his ground as a samurai and as a person who will, like, um, lead the country of Wano, you know, it screams out loud with this voice saying, I am Kozuki Momonosuke. I am the man who will become the shogun who will lead this country, you know. He says it proudly and as a man and not to back down on his word. I'm thinking in my mind, oh my gosh, what a terrific moment. Just a terrific, terrific moment right there for Momonosuke. Despite him being a kid, he shouts out his true name and Kaido is getting, is so angry and getting ready to like execute Momonosuke and Momonosuke thinking in his mind, Mom, Dad, I'll be seeing you soon. I know I'm not supposed to cry or be afraid, but I can't help it. Hiyori, I really wish I could have seen you soon, you know? That kind of thing. And as Yamato has his cups removed, we have to it that, like, um, it finally explodes. And Yamato is really shocked about shocked about what um, what Kaido was really trying to do, to do to her or do to him, you know? That kind of thing. And says... Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. He was really trying to kill me. He even screams out loud to Kaido, You're no longer my dad, while everyone's like, Oh, there's Luffy and Yamato. What the heck is going on? 
And we have to it that like Yamato hurt seeing how Kaido would really try to kill um kill his own child that if she tries to escape. We have to it Luffy calms her down and says, Calm down. We are not the ones that's gonna start this fight, you know? And says we just arrived right in time. And that is when Luffy finally uses Kenbin Shoku hockey and saw, sees the future. There's no denying of that. He finally sees to it of what's gonna happen, and we see to it that the Nine Red Samurai shows up, and they end up having to ha having to disarm Queen, disarm King Jack and Queen from interfering, and they and the Red Knight Samurai screams out Tsunachi and freaking stabs Kaido, while Kaido screams in total agony, re remembering how the time how Odin cut him down that twenty years ago, you know, and the episode ends up there. Then preview next episode says freaking like um. What you may call it? Onigashima and turmoil. Luffy's all out war begins. I'm like, oh yeah, finally, we're getting to that moment we all have been waiting for. I'm pretty sure a lot of manga readers and a lot of anime only have been waiting for this moment for a long time. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Toei, you've been doing a good job so far. I feel so sad for those who are missing out on One Piece's anime right now or who dropped it, you know, despite the filler and everything else. They're doing a fantastic job despite the filler, you know? Even though it's wasting time and taking a slow time to adapt each chapter, I'm enjoying it to the fullest, you know? I can't wait till we get to the next big event and the next big event and the next big event, you know? Oh man, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I may be a One Piece fanboy, but I know it has its issues, but whatever. I am what I am. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.